Hey everybody, what's going on? And it's funny that I saw an article about this movie this morning. This is day three of 31 and 31. And uh, today's film happens to be Cloverfield. And it's funny because like I saw an article earlier and it was talking about how there hasn't been like a proper sequel to Cloverfield, like done period. And that like I kind of thought about it because when you think of like 10 Cloverfield Lane, for example, it doesn't necessarily tie into it. Like you could watch it without the ending, right? The ending kind of ties it together some. And then that uh, Cloverfield Paradox where the bullshit movie that was on Netflix is just like an alien movie with this like loosely tied in. Like there really hasn't been a like a, a kaiju tie in movie with this movie uh, or, or at least go further into the monster or anything like that. I remember when I saw the trailers and previews for this movie that I was like, I was really intrigued in the way that they were doing it. And this is one of those found footage movies that I feel for a lot of people, you either love or you hate. And the main reason is, is because of like the camera, like it is really shaky. It is just ridiculous on how much it moves around and like in the scenes that it does. But like for me, I think it adds more to the movie than it takes away from the movie. Uh, I think the performances are great. It's weird having T.J. Miller in this movie and not seeing him basically at all through a majority of the movie. I think we only get to see him when he dies in this movie. Uh, and I think a little bit in the beginning too, if my memory serves correct with everything, with him getting the camera and taking the camera. But after that, he's just a voice. And he's one of the more entertaining things about the movie. Um, the design of the creature also, I think for a lot of people was something that like, we waited all this long and that's what we get to see. It's not bad as Kaiju go. It's, it's actually kind of an interesting kind of cool Kaiju for this film, but I really just, I enjoyed the story, even like the little separate storyline of the whole thing between the dude and the girl. And, and I love the ending of this movie and how they like show, you know, again, spoiler alert for this, but how they show it are actually arriving, the monster actually arriving. I, I was very surprised by everything. It just felt really intense. It felt really grounded. Uh, and it just was like, I hate using that term, but it was like a boots on the ground type feeling when it came to this movie. I, I just, I really do like this movie a lot. And even going back to it, does it have its flaws? Yeah, I think some of the characters are kind of like, eh, not not the best characters around. But in general, I just find everything really interesting. And the fact that, we're going from the perspective of the people kind of, you know, experiencing what you would experience during like big monsters trying to attack and take over a giant city, right? So that kaiju experience of it, because whenever we see a kaiju movie, it's always from the outside. We see the monster doing all the destruction. We see the, the military gather together to fight against the monster. Like we don't get to see the everyday civilians and what they do in this situation and what they're doing to try to survive. So in that case, like, I feel like Cloverfield really succeeds and that it's a lot of fun. So if you haven't seen this movie or you haven't seen it in a while, I think you do it to yourself to watch it once again. So I give this, this is a solid, I, I'm really not in the fours. I'm in the three out of fives, uh, little baby monsters, because I think that it still has some things that holds back. I still really enjoy this movie. And it's just on like the tipping of it being a four. And I think a lot of it just for me, even as much as I like the camera, I think it has some to do with the camera. And then some to do with the characters. Some of the characters are just kind of like a... And there's some, there's some really gruesome scenes in this movie that are unexpected and are fun to watch. And then there's some other scenes where it's just like, Ugh, why are we doing this? Why are we focusing on this? So... Yeah, and if you haven't seen Cloverfield, i definitely give it give it a go. So that's going to do it for today for 31 and 31. We'll see you tomorrow. Wonder what we're watching next.